welcome back to the channel. It's the first day of Astro season. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we'll go and jump in. We have Erov with the Ophelia. Interest. Oh gosh, that's. Oh, that's weird. I did not expect that. Water sweep. Staff dragon instead of that. Why would they do that instead of wind sweep? Interesting. Okay. We got Duma over here. We have a duo's hindrance. Hmm. Interesting. There's no turn one engagement. The inter the I think the difficult part will be getting pots. I could probably just send in bike. Smite bike in. How would I do that? Hmm. Plumeria, I guess. I have Plumeria. So I'd have Ike here. Or Ike back here. Ike walk up. Plumeria dancing. Naga smite Ike. Ike kills here. No, I can't do that. If I do that, then Flora can snipe Brave Lucina in the back. Hmm, because Ophelia is the only thing I really worry about here because of the water sweep instead of wind sweep. Um, hmm. Ooh, can I use Altina? I haven't used Altina in so long. That would be actually like really nice to get the chance to actually use her. Yeah, I think I can. Who has the... I saw somebody. Yeah, okay. I'll play with the Hardy Bearing. I just snipe. One, two. I have to remember the Armor March. That could totally get me. So I can't be here. Hmm, I could smite this way and then have her snipe Flora. Have Altina teleport in and kill here. Okay, we just have to figure out how to get the pots though. Well, actually, Duma won't be able to do anything, correct? So he'll lose his armor march. So he can only move one spot. So I just need to worry about them blowing up Altina in one turn, which I don't think is possible. And can Layla kill her? With the 45 damage, Layla should be really easily able to kill her. Uh, we have this, the panic manner. That shouldn't be a problem. Dark Shrine's kind of annoying, but not too bad. Okay, let's do some Layla and Altina. I used to love using this team all the time until save skills came out, and for some reason, save skills nullify Layla's ability, which, uh, the ability to actually swap with her support partner, which is just weird to me. Like, why is that the case? It does not say that anywhere in the ability itself. It's like an extra utility that's kind of annoying to deal with. Okay, let's see. So we're going to need Layla to get smited to this lightning trap. She'll then go in and kill here. Uh, which means Altina needs to be here, which means she needs to get repoed there. Which means this. We'll have Altina here. We'll repo with um, Regan. And that way we can do that engagement. The only bad part about this is that Altina won't be getting the extra attack and resistance from Naga. Hmm. Is there a way to do that better? Let's see. Let's see. One, two. She can hit here. If I put Altina here and get smited, but how do I get two smites off? I don't think it's possible. She'd be here to smite at the best gets danced there's no way yeah uh hmm can altina handle it let's see i don't think she'll have a problem even with the minus does thrasir kill her with the minus defense and res that might be a bit dangerous let's see she can hit here Hmm. That doesn't help much. Let's see. Is there no way to snipe the Dark Shrine to ensure that Altina lives? 
So I'm pretty sure Altina gets hit with the Dark Shred. Yeah, definitely. So she'll be down to 38 resistance. And then she'll get an additional 5, 8, wait, why did I say 5? 4, 8, uh, 13. Get 64 attack and she'll attack twice with the glimmer. Man, I sure hope Altina doesn't die to that. I wouldn't be sad if she does. Uh, the other thing is that I can't get the attack smoke on her either. The attack smoke would be nice. Just to uh, nerf her a bit. Hmm. Is there a way to smite Altina instead of Layla? That way Altina can get the res buff and the attack buff. Which would be nice, just to replace some of that loss resistance. She'll still get hit by the Glimmer, because I assume she'll get attacked first. Actually, I think Violet's attacked first, which means she might be in vantage range, which means it might not matter. But let's see if we can still do it anyway. Let's see. Um, she'll be here. Can we just do it the opposite way, actually, now that I think about it? We'll just have Layla here. Oh wait, no, 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 because of this. Ooh, that was close. Hmm. If we have Layla over here, and then we have Layla get repositioned to here. Then she goes in. No, she gets repositioned here. Where can I smite Altina so that she actually ends up in the right place? Altina need, would need to get smited here. Which means Altina would need to be over here, like here, and then she gets smited here. Hmm. I think it's possible, but we're gonna need some. Okay, let's see. So turn one, we need to have her up here by turn two. So kill. Maybe we have like this though. Naga breaks this. Latina breaks this. No. Hmm. That way. Man, this this is the I think this is like the fun part of Ether Rates where you really get to like have to think of a legitimate strategy and how to actually execute it. I think it's pretty I don't think I need to think about it too much because I only need to destroy these two things and then she can get in I just need to get her here Altina here Regan here yeah that shouldn't be a problem yeah okay I'm, I'm overthinking this um let's see I want to break this let's do this this then this will break that make sure one two and here here yeah oh god that was close oh <laughs> that would have been so bad oh man it would have been the first time either i've definitely done that before uh Put it back here for now. So let's see. She can hit down here. Can she hit here? No. Altina's in the correct place. One, two, yeah, okay. Let's turn on the settings. Okay, now we can see the actual range. We don't have to like visualize it. Uh, okay, so this is the turn we need to actually set up and go in. Shouldn't have a problem getting the pot, I don't think. Okay, so we'll just go here. Is there any way to get the pot this turn? I don't think so. Like if we did this, move Naga up, reposition. 
Have the dancer, no, the dancer has to dance in there. No, okay, we can't do it. Okay, let's not get greedy and mess up our plans. Um, do I need to worry about where Layla is placed? I don't think so. I don't think so. Layla will be down here after the switch. And then I guess we could put the dancer there just in case. Yeah, let's just leave her there just in case I overlooked something. Okay, there goes the bolt tower. We reposition. Uh, we'll pull Regan over here. We will smite Daltina, or with Naga. And then we just go in and kill Flora. They swap positions. Okay, so here's the thing. We can't be, can't kill from here. If we kill from here, do much suicides, and then we don't get pots. He won't have movement, so we need to just come over here and kill Ophelia, taking out the Hardy Berry. Okay, now, Azura or Bylas should attack first. I believe Bylas attacks first, and then I should be in vantage range, and it should be fine. Um, should we break this? Might as well. We'll break that. We'll dance her over this way. Actually, do we want to put her here just so that she gets the extra attack and resistance? That might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Just in case. Okay. Oh, oh that's not good. That's not going to get her into Vantage range. Ooh, that's not good. 38. Is 38 Vantage range? I think she's at 46. No, I don't think so. Oof, this might not be good. Yeah, this might be bad. No, it's, what, an extra 5 damage? We'll be in Vantage range. Okay. Whoo! That was closer than I wanted it to be. Okay, and then Byleth will attack, and she will get Vantaged. Nice 71 times 2 with all, from Altina. I really love Altina as a carry. I know a lot of people think she's like a bad mythic because she doesn't support, but I think it's more fun to have her carry. Uh, okay, we'll move over here. We'll break this. We can just leave her there. Um, move her here. Dance her. Have her over here. Pull Altina back, and we will get Naga closer. We can do that too, just in case we need to heal later on, on the special, Heavenly Light. Okay, he moves down, break, break, easy kill. And that's gonna be the match for the week. Fun match, I'm so glad I didn't have to rely on like Brave Hector or Duolin or any of the other like Kind of overpowered unit. It's nice to go back to just getting to use Altina and Layla. Okay. Okay, let's check our defense for today. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's what I want to see. Two wins. Six foes defeated both times, too. Wow. I didn't get a chance to switch up my team. I wanted to move from a cav line to something else but then i saw that on the banner odd pulse recovery or not odd pulse recovery i can't think of what it's called right now the, the c skill off of saffron is coming back on a new banner and uh i figured i'd wait to roll for that and then make a new team because that's the one thing that's been kind of holding me back from making just renovating my team completely okay we got this thrasir comes in with the rally which also activates the ruse. Nana comes in and just destroys Regan. Lyf coming in on Altina. Ooh. It's a very dead Altina. Okay, and we have Thrasir coming in on Lin. 
Is this gonna be enough? I think this is enough. Maybe not. It might be just a little bit too low. Yep, a little bit too low. And then Mia coming in and just hitting Edelgard. If she would have done that first, we would have got the dagger debuff and it would have been enough. Interesting. Okay. Thrasir is down. Mia is down. Edelgard's all healed up from the healing fountain. Dance on the Lin. It's not very often you see Legendary Lin. Hopefully that changes after her uh, remix comes out though. I'm not sure what they're going to do to fix her because her A slot is so uh, not great. <laughs> it's a not the nice way to put it. And they're not giving her a weapon refine, I don't believe. Unless they just decide to start doing legendary weapon refines every month, which I'm completely on board with if they want to do that. But if not, she's going to have to have just her A slot preference skill get updated, and then she's going to get some kind of probably tier 4 skill. I'm not sure what it will be. Uh... I guess it would be a C slot, so maybe like a joint drive or something, or... Hmm, it's interesting. Nana coming in and bowling again. And then Ursula coming in and actually taking out Lin. So the new banner uh, was shown off last night, the trailer. I wasn't very excited for any of the characters, but the fodder looks really good. <laughs> I saw that AR, uh, AD Trace, the attack defense trace for uh, melee, and I kind of want to roll on it just for Tiburn, but I don't think I'd actually use it. But it would be really fun. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. There's no, um, unfortunately, there's no spark, so I probably won't. I'll probably just try to get the odd pulse and then get out of there. Okay, we got Thrasir coming in again. Just gonna rally and ruse that whole line. Get the dance from Rabulus. Lift's coming in. He's gonna one shot Regan. Then we're gonna have Thross here versus Kustav. This should be interesting. Get the Moonbow. I doubt. Yeah, there's no way he's taking. He's just gonna eat that up. And then Mia's gonna come in. Gonna throw 16 in his face. Oh, Ursula's coming in. She's gonna fight Henrietta. And the glimmer for the six damage. <laughs> this is the time when Moonbow would definitely be better. Okay, huh. Gustav's easily gonna take out Ursula, but he has a trap in front of him, so what is he gonna do here? Is he just gonna dance onto the trap? I hope he doesn't do that. Please do not gamble the trap. Okay, he didn't. Okay, so we're just gonna have Nana come in and restore Mirabilis. Gonna have Mila just, ooh, take out Naga one by one. Well, she has a special as well, I guess. So, more than one. <laughs> Get a nice, what, 59, 58? Okay. Lif versus Henrietta. Finding his mom. Okay, Henry's gonna come back. Get pretty decent. We're gonna get 30 damage here, so she'll be down to nine. And she's not gonna be able to quite be able to kill Liv. Then we're gonna have a dance onto Nana. Where's Nana gonna go? She's just gonna heal. Okay. So we're storing Mia up. We're pretty much just like bottlenecking them in the corner. 31 times 2, but he has that damage reduction on that first hit, which is really going to save him. Yep. Okay, and the repo. Ooh, that repo was mean. Okay, there goes Mia. Oh, okay. Restore onto Saros. Lift come in, Lift's gonna finish off Henrietta. That reposition did a lot of work on Saros. <laughs> Marathos is getting bloodthirsty. She's taking after Triandra. But I don't think it's gonna go as well for her. Oh, and then she gets reput out. Oh, he gambled the trap. And that's gonna be the end right there. That was definitely not I mean there wasn't much else he could do, but 
I guess he was just hoping at this point. Nana's gonna kill Gustav. And then who's gonna sweep in and finish off Mrs. Plumeria? It's gonna be Nana. Okay. So we got full two two full sweeps on defense. It feels good. McAvaline has been kind of underperforming lately, which is why I wanted to replace it. But today it did great. Okay, well that's going to be the matches for today. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. I'll catch you tomorrow with more Ether Raids.